Russian President Vladimir Putin signed the Annex Decree connecting Ukraine's Lugansk, Donetsk, Kherson and Zaporozhye regions to Russia. Thus, the annexation process, which was completed despite the objections of all the countries of the world and the United Nations, will only end with the defeat of one of the parties on the battlefield of the ongoing war between Russia and Ukraine. Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov said, We consider the accession of the four regions in Ukraine to Russia as taking place on the basis of their own provincial borders. Even if conflicts continue in some regions, Kherson and Zaporozhye regions will eventually be cleared of Ukrainian forces, he said. Russian leader Putin also signed the decree yesterday that Ukraine's Zaporozhye nuclear power plant, which is experiencing conflicts around it, has passed into the ownership of Russia. As of yesterday, the Ukrainian army entered the Lugansk region in the southeast in the last 24 hours and rested on the town of Crimea. Thus, the Ukrainian forces had the opportunity to march on the towns of Lysychansk and Severodonetsk, from which they had withdrawn two months ago. Another important development that will put Putin in a difficult situation is taking place on the southern front. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky announced that the Ukrainian forces, which launched the offensive on Tuesday evening, recaptured 29 settlements in the Kherson region from the Russians. The fact that Ukrainian troops are advancing an average of 25 kilometers a day in this direction indicates that a clash will take place in the provincial center of Kherson within two weeks at the latest. Political and military observers agree that if Russia is defeated in Kherson, it will be the end of Putin. While the Ukrainian army achieved significant successes against Russia in the line of contact, new weapons began to be used on the Russian side. The previous evening, the Shahid-136 unmanned aerial vehicles, which Russia is thought to have procured from Iran, approached the Ukrainian capital Kiev for the first time undetected and hit the military barracks in the town of Belyat-Zirkov. While the Ukrainian side did not make a statement about the loss of life, President Volodymyr Zelensky called the army staff to an emergency meeting and demanded the development of effective defense against Iranian drones. Ukrainian Air Force spokesperson Yuri Ignat announced that six of the 12 aircraft used in the kamikaze drone attack by the Russian side were shot down by the Ukrainian air defense systems before they reached the target.